today I'm feeling fiery as fuck. <sighs> I have so much fucking energy just like pulsing through my veins, ready to be manifested in some beautifully artistic kind of way. And it's starting to fucking rain. And I love it. I love the poetry of this fucking moment. And no, I'm not high. I am high on life because that's how I choose to live. I turn frustration into fuckery and I get fucked by God on a daily basis. And I mean fucked in the most sexual way and if that makes you uncomfortable, you're missing out. <laughs> I am vowing to share more poetry and specifically spoken word poetry because I suppose part of the reason I've not shared it so far is knowing how often people misunderstand you or your words and how they manipulate it to suit what they're trying to say and yeah, that's kind of chilled really, isn't it? Like, whatever you want to feel about me, it's none of my business. <laughs> and there's such a liberation in just giving the fucks to someone else. This is me. No makeup, wearing a hat that says be fucking polite in a field of sheep as it rains on me. Life is good. Life is really fucking good. It's a shame no one really knows how to enjoy an emotion anymore. We're always trying to change ourselves and shift these things. They shift on their own. I like to savour my emotions like a, a tasty meal. <laughs> and I'm really learning how to share that with the world in a way that feels authentic because there's so much shit on the internet there's so much inauthenticity there's so many people being carbon copies of someone else and you know I am no exception to that in many ways because we become an accumulation of the people we spend the most time with that we've been influenced by and inspired by but there's something more you know there's like there's a real depth there's a real authenticity and energy that I don't actually feel a lot of people have. They might think they have it. They might share in that way. But actually when it comes down to it, they're kind of terrified by life. And they're living from adrenaline junkie thrill to adrenaline junkie thrill. One shot of dopamine knowledge to the next. And to me, that's not how I feel alive. We can always sit and judge and pretend we know like someone else's story is easy to understand but these are all observations I make from my own perception about my own life and the reflection that comes from me, the reflection that I'm emanating to the world, my desire to be more authentic, to be more real with myself. And I think for a really long time, I've like hidden parts of myself from people close to me. I say close in the sense of proximity rather than emotionality because my truth often leaves them cowering or shivering away from me. And it's quite actually disheartening when you are unveiling the depths of your own being but I have many beautiful people who support me and draw these things out from me like a spider weaving her delicious web. We are inevitable. We are not bad or wrong. We were never wrong. We just are. <laughs> 